l'occasion de lire dans les pensées. Pour le moment, oui, mais à l'avenir. En fait, le décodage de nos pensées a déjà commencé, ici, à l'université de Pittsburgh, sous la direction du professeur Marcel Just. Il n'y a là aucun objectif lié au neuromarketing. L'équipe de Marcel Just travaille principalement sur le langage et notamment sur l'autisme. Mais que se passera-t-il lorsque ces travaux seront repris par d'autres In the last few years, it's been possible to use fMRI to identify the contents of people's thoughts. Now, using new uh, com computational techniques, machine learning techniques, we've been able to um, discover the, the relationship between particular patterns of brain activity and particular thoughts. How you doing, Justin? Are you ready to get started? <laughs> Marcel Just et son équipe ont mis au point un logiciel capable de reconnaître des mots auxquels on doit penser sous IRM, comme téléphone, camion. Des mots que l'ordinateur devine en regardant l'activité du cerveau. I think that it got a 10 out of 10 in a, in a two choice test, it got a perfect score. It means that all of us, to some extent, when we think of a chair or an apple or a hammer or any physical object, very similar things are happening to our brain. Ten years from now, 20 years from now, I don't think we're going to need an MRI scanner. This, this electromagnetic activity is occurring in the brain, and uh, some sensor will be able to detect it. And it'll be, you know, maybe we'll have some handheld little device, you know, hold it up and we'll be able to see what's going, in another, going on in another person's brain. It's sort of like a mental nudist colony. I don't know how to avoid the misuse of this. I think it's a wonderful new knowledge. I'm sure it can be used for evil. People ask about, you know, what about police interrogations? What about neuromarketing? I'm sure it can be used for, for, for bad reasons. Um, currently, it requires the co uh, cooperation of a person. You know, I have to think Apple before so anybody can see it. But ultimately, I think it will require less cooperation. So is it a bad thing if everybody knows what you're thinking? Well, it would mean the end of privacy, really. I think that we, as, as science develops the potential for manipulating in good and bad ways, humanity are, are enormous, just enormous. I think we're going to be able to change the nature of the human race. Do we want to create a new species? I think it will be possibly within our power to do that it, it, it's really the the thought is bigger than anything i can handle i just don't know do we want to do this it's, i think it's one of the biggest questions that we will ever face and and soon